I am going to blow your minds. Nobody has got this right. Who is that guy walking around in Chris Watt's backyard? What's going on everybody? I'm Prayerboy77 and today we're going to be talking about the Chris Watts case, more specifically the goings on in Chris's backyard, the guy with the shovel, the cars and all that stuff. And this one is a doozy. This is bad, okay? Uh, one quick note before we get into the thing. I have revamped my membership thing. I was, when I first did it, I was just going by YouTube recommends this, 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 this. And I didn't really know what to put in there. But basically, if you spend a couple of bucks a month, you're going to get extra content behind the scenes videos. There's going to be other things that uh, like hobbies of mine that I like doing. I'm going to be only putting those on members only. So to me, things like uh, videography, cinematography, stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, click the membership. And if not, if you're only into Chris Watts, whatever, you're still going to get some extra content there anyway. If you want to support me, if not, don't worry about it. All right, let's get into the topic at hand. Now, before, I, I heard about this before, and I never really looked into it because there were other things to look into, but now that I'm on this one, when I heard that there was a, some guy walking around behind Chris's house in his backyard with a shovel, I thought, man, that's really weird because the image of behind Chris's house that I had in my head was from the Google Maps Street View. And of course, if you look at that, even if you look at it today, it hasn't been updated. Like this is from 2012, I believe. I'm not looking at it right now, but I think so. Chris's house wasn't even built then. But you do see that fence that's still there, actually. Out behind it, there's nothing. It just looks like empty field. So when hearing oh, some guy with a shovel walking around in a field, and a, and a truck running around back there too. That does sound suspicious, right? And a lot of people spread this crap, but nobody looked at it. It didn't twig to actually check on this stuff, which is very weird. So, okay. First, let's talk about these vehicles, okay? So, we'll go to the footage and you can see what looks to be a, a white or maybe a light gray minivan uh, go past in the background there and you actually see I think it's the same vehicle coming back now I want you guys to stop and look at this and really think okay there's Chris's house then there's other houses in a subdivision then there's a road this isn't someone bombing around in a field behind Chris's house. This is a street. This is Billings Avenue. Like to think that someone happened to be driving by within view of the house makes it somehow related to the murders. That's ridiculous. Like that makes zero sense at all. This, this subdivision there were houses that were fully built and there were houses being built. So there was always a flurry of activity back there. There'd be contractors, real estate agents, potential buyers. This was not a closed off area. That was a legitimate street. So to think someone driving down that street had anything to do with Chris Watts is laughable. I mean, look into this stuff, you guys. It took me 10 minutes to find this on Google Maps and really figure out when that street was built, which was 2015. And then a little bit more to look at when this real estate development started. And yeah, I mean, why did no one look into this? So now, okay, let's focus on this man with the shovel. You see him twice, actually. At first you can see him in the bottom uh, through the fence you can see him walking and then later on when the officer bends down you can see him walking away from the house now first thing I want to say this guy was not walking in Chris's backyard so if you're gonna put that in a title 
you're wrong, that's just clickbaiting, stop doing that stuff. Now before we go any further, some houses were fully built, some were still being built. And this was during the week, during the day. So seeing a, a man with a shovel, not that uncommon on a construction site. Plus this was not the morning that Shanann was reported missing. This wasn't the wellness check, this was after. So why would someone be carrying a shovel that was used to bury somebody an hour away back at the house where they were murdered the day after? I mean, how can you guys draw this connection? It makes no sense. Like, I don't even understand how these, this crap gets off the ground. Just like the airport, just like the beach, just like NK being caught on the body cam up in the ceiling, and just like someone yanking a toddler back in the garage, it's not there. I don't understand why people make this stuff up and why other creators are running with it. You know, honestly, the more stuff I watch about this whole case and the more I see it's complete lies, the more I think, you know what? It probably was just all Chris. Because all this other stuff, I mean, everything I look at, I can see it's made up. But anyway, okay, let's get back to the shovel thing. Now, at first, I never saw him when he was close up. I only saw him when he was walking away. And I was thinking, that shovel is like, the handle is awfully big. I thought that watching him walking away from the house when he's already a ways away. So I went back and I got looking at it when he's walking sideways, right? You can see him through the fence there. Well, let's just stop and let's take a real good look because nobody has caught this and it surprises me. I'm not Sherlock Holmes. I mean, all you gotta do is like really look. But okay, let's look at that. For starters, that shovel handle is thicker than his arm. That is not a shovel. There are no shovel handles on the planet that are thicker than a man's arm. They do not exist. That is not a shovel. In fact, you can see it actually gets thicker towards the end and you can see light through it. What would that be? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a tripod. Now, why would someone be walking around with a tripod? Hmm. Could it be because there were brand new houses being built and sold? Real estate agents taking pictures for websites? Hiring photographers, maybe? Now, I know that a whole bunch of you are still going to argue in the comments. You guys, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, short of writing every creator who keeps peddling this stuff and asking them why they're doing it and why not tell the truth? Because it's, it's not your fault that you believe this stuff. It's theirs. They, there's nothing stopping these people from looking into something before they post it. I'm doing it. I don't know why they aren't, but to say some guy walking around Chris Watts backyard with a shovel is entirely false. He wasn't in the backyard and all you had to do was zoom in a little bit to see it wasn't a shovel. But of course, some of you are going to say, yeah, he was in the backyard. Doesn't matter what you see on the video. You don't care. You got this thing in your head. It was NK and Jim and Santa Claus and Hitler came back from the dead to help with this. Who knows what you guys are all thinking. Just go by the evidence. Go by what you actually see. You can actually see that that's not a shovel handle. It's way too thick and it splits. It has to be a tripod. Now I understand like the controversy, it gets the views. It draws the people in. It's like, oh, oh my God. But... <laughs> I mean, some of this stuff is just, it's just so dumb. Like it'd be one thing about the things that, you know, could be true, but you can't really prove it. You can't disprove it, like stuff like that. But this, I mean, it's plain as day. People are straight up lying just for views. I mean, why do that? I guess, you know, to all you creators out there, if you want to keep peddling lies and stuff, by all means do it because eventually I'm going to see it and I'm going to debunk you. Okay, if you guys take anything away from this other than the fact that 
There was cars driving on the street, which is not related to the Watts. Guy wasn't in Chris Watts' backyard, like people said, and it wasn't a shovel either. I mean, if you take anything else away from this, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to stop believing whatever YouTuber says, and I want you, you, to seek the truth yourself. Don't trust what someone else says just because they have a, a lot of subs or a lot of views on that video. That doesn't mean it's true. Do the research. Look for yourself. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Hit me up in the comments down below. If you start arguing with me in there, I'm going to know that you didn't watch the video. So I'm just going to make fun of you. But yeah, fill your boots. And I hope you guys like this. Hit that thumbs up. Join the team if you feel like it. And we will catch you on the next one. And until then, this is Prairie Boy 77 saying good day, good night, Godspeed, and seek the truth.